join the vice president in welcoming everyone here today on the task force, both in person and on, on Zoom. I want to particularly thank the president and the vice president for their leadership in this historic moment uh, and this work, the commitment of the work that we're all doing here. I want to thank all of you uh, who are uh, principals or cabinet secretaries, but more importantly, I want to thank your teams because they have been working extremely hard um, in putting the documents together that we're talking about that the vice president mentioned will be complete on the 23rd. So I want to just say to all the folks on the Zoom, please let your teams know how much we appreciate their, their efforts and their work in this. It truly has been a great uh, team effort here moving together. Uh, every agency has a lot going on, uh, certainly. Uh, fighting the pandemic, rebuilding the economy, addressing climate change, uh, advocating with Congress. Uh, we have a couple small pieces of legislation that we're trying to get through Congress, so we're working on that as well. Uh, and and those, those are really complement pieces to all the work that we're doing, so we're excited about that. Uh, it's not easy to think about um, organizing and collective bargaining if, because uh, they haven't been a focus before. Uh, as the Vice President stated, uh, you know, and the President made this, made this out, that, that this is important for, for the opportunity to rebuild and, and build the middle class and create opportunities to get other people in there. So each of you have found a way to build these priorities into your work. I want to thank you for that. Uh, you did it in a short amount of time. I know it's not complete yet, but really when you think about the amount of work that's been done in a very short period of time, it really has been amazing to watch. It's clear that everyone, uh, including myself, has taken the President and the Vice President's charge seriously. So I want to thank you again for that. And, and for someone whose uh, family's American dream was made possible by organizing, uh, and, and opportunities to join a union and, and earn a good living and a middle class living. Uh, I want to say thank you for that as well. Uh, I'm excited about the report that this task force is going to issue in a couple weeks. It's going to show the impacts of this historic whole of government approach to worker organizing. Uh, it's going to address the barriers uh, that, that many workers face um, to exercising their right to organize. Uh, it's going to show new collaborations between agencies. Uh, I think that might have been here in the past, but in this administration, really creating a bond between our agencies and, and how we move forward together in other areas. Uh, it's also going to show that the Biden-Harris administration is taking concrete steps to put power back in the hands of working people, uh, and I think that that's really important. Uh, I want to be very clear, though. Uh, we are responding to what working people are telling us, and, and that's really what this report will ultimately be. Uh, workers, especially young workers and workers of color, are saying they want a union. Uh, and it's going to be an opportunity for those workers, particularly workers of color, to, to be able to access middle class jobs. And take, you can take it from me and other folks here who have had other government positions, probably one of the biggest challenges that we have is making sure we're creating opportunities for young people of color to get into the workforce. Uh, we're seeing in our unemployment numbers, uh, black unemployment is double that of white unemployment. So this is a moment in time that we can make a, a tremendous difference. I hear it when I cr cross the country and I travel to different cities and states. Uh, it's clear from the latest surveys of data about young people supporting unions and, and the, the want to, to be organized, or organize themselves, I should say. Supporting unions is higher than it's been in decades as far as the numbers go, and, and we're taking action to meet that demand. Uh, we should be proud of the work that we've done, but we're certainly not finished by any stretch of the imagination. There's more work to do, and there's always more work to do. And I truly believe that this work is going to make a difference in the lives of working people in this country and help rebuild America's middle class, quite honestly. In closing, I just want to just um, honestly say to the Vice President, I want to thank you for your leadership. I want to thank you for your vision here. Uh, you've made it clear from the very beginning how important this is. Um, and we were in Pittsburgh. Uh, we had a briefing before we did an event in Pittsburgh a few months ago. And, and um, I took a moment to step back, and the Vice President was talking to the team in the office and her commitment and dedication to this work was just absolutely amazing. I knew at that moment that this was a real task force. This will be a real document. This will be real policy, and this will make a real difference in American people. So, Madam Vice President, I hope that we have met your expectations at this moment in this challenge. So thank you. Thank you, Secretary Walsh. And again, as a point of emphasis from all of us, um, to all of our teams that 